Hi everyone, this is not Bill's Puzzle, obviously. Uh, it will be coming in about a minute. But I wanted to talk briefly about a survey that we were doing for SudokuCon. As you may or may not know, the gas team has been involved in planning an event which will be held in April next year in the Boston area. And we are at a point of gathering more information about who might be attending, how likely it is you would attend, uh, what events and activities you're interested in, so that that can guide uh, future planning and so that we can have the best event possible. I will include a couple links in the description of this video, one to the website, one to the survey directly, and one to the YouTube channel for SudokuCon. You can check out the live stream that we did uh, late last year. Uh, Clover and I participated in that, so you can see a couple of videos of us. And that's it. So, puzzle coming up now. Hi everyone, this is the gas walkthrough for April 17th. I'm Philip Newman. I will be solving Better Way to Live by Bill Murphy. And this is a killer thermo Sudoku. So, normal Sudoku rules, one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have cages and the digits within a cage must sum to the total given in the top left corner and all of these cages have thermometers in them so the digits must increase from the bulb to the tip and those are the rules and we will get started in the top left as is often the case with gas there's only one way to make a 10 cage in four cells. That is one, two, three, four. And because of the thermo, we know the order of them. One, two, three, four. You can do the same with the 30 down here. This has to be six, seven, eight, nine, and it has to be in that order because of the thermo. Now the remaining digits are two, three, four, five. And again, they have to be in order because of the thermo. Up here, the 26, there are a couple ways you could do this. Uh, one way is. 10 plus 26 is 36. We need 45 for the whole row, so we need a 9 left over. Um, the other way is just to figure out which combination of these five digits actually sums to 26. But the remaining digits are 5, 6, 7, 8, and we have 1 through 9 in order, which is very nice. All right, where next? Um, these have to be 6, 7, 8, 9. I'll go ahead and mark those. And we'll come down here. Um, what can this cell be? It's in a 27 cage. We already know that we can do 26 with 5 through 8. So if we don't have a 9 in the cage, this is the biggest we can make it. 5 through 8. Those are the highest digits that are not 9. So we wouldn't get to 27. So this actually has to be 9. Uh, for the 12 cage, what can this be? Well, if we don't have a 1, the lowest we can make is 2, 3, 4, 5, which is 14. That's too big. So this is a 1. And in fact, this is also a 2. If we had 3, 4, 5, that would already be 12, plus the 1 is 13. So that's too big. So this is a 2. And now this can't be 3 because of the top cage. So this is 4, 5 to complete the cage. And now we know what these are. These are 3, 7, 8, 9, and that does sum to 27. And check that. All right. We can't put a 1 here for multiple reasons. One, there's a given right there, but also it would break this cage. Um, if we did have a 1 here, these would have to sum to 23, and the only way to do that is 6, 8, 9, and there's an 8 in the cage already. So our 1's not there, it's down here. Um, now, what's the biggest these can be? These can be 6, 5, because we already have the 7, 8 here. And this can be 4. And if you sum these up, these are 15 plus 9 is 24. So in fact, that's what it has to be, 4, 5, 6. These are not 6. And now the remaining digits are 2, 7, 8 in this column. So we've done the edges. These are 1, 2, 3, 4. These are 4, 5, 6, and 9. This is obviously not 9. That's too big. 
So it's not six either. So the lowest we can make is six, eight, nine. Actually, we can't even do that because of the seven and eight. Um, so this is definitely not six. If this were five, we would have to have six, nine. This is seven, eight. That's too big as well. So this is four. Um, and we need 14 in the remaining cells. There are two ways to do that. Six, eight is one of them. We've got eights there. The other way is five, nine. So that is what that has to be. This is a six now. These are not four and six. All right, these are not four. So this is from one, two, three, but we have one and three in the row. So that's two. These are not one, three now. These are one, three, and six. And again, we have one, three in the row. So that's six. The three here gives us one and three. Down here, we need one, two, three, and nine. I, I hope it's obvious that this is going to have to be nine. If this were three, we could do three, two, one. Uh, and that's way too small. Also, there's a three up here, and there's a two right there. Lots of reasons for that not working. So this is not three. In fact, there's a two up here. So this is our two. And there's a one over here, so this is three and one. The nine here makes this five and nine. And we are left with three, six, and seven. In order to make 18, we need these to sum to nine. So this has to be three, six in that order. Seven there. And then we have four, five, and eight. This is not four, this is not five. All right, where next? We have a nine here, so these are not nine. Uh, the smallest these can be is one, four, because of two, three. This is kind of mirroring what we had over here. Um, if we have one, four, we only have eight left uh, for the thermo. But we could go one, five, seven. We can't have a six here though. Basically, if we put a one here, these need to sum to 12, and we can't do that with a six. And we can't put anything bigger here. Um, it would have to be four, and then we'd have four, five, six. That's too big. So this is one. This is not six. And actually, this is not four because of the four there. So this is five, this is seven, this is eight, nine, and six. This is six in the column. And then these are four, seven, and eight. All right. Uh, the four over here resolved this. That's been there for a while. These are one, three, eight, and nine. And in order to get to 20, we can't have a one in this cage. Um, that was always the case. So it's three, eight, nine. One there, one there. And this is not eight now. These are from two, three, and seven. And we have multiple threes. So this is three. There's a two here. So this is seven and two. These are five, eight, and nine. And there's a nine and an eight in this row. And that's going to give us eight, four, five, nine here. These are two and four. We know the order from that two. And that's going to give us seven, eight, and four. And to finish off, we have seven, we have six, and we have eight. And that is the solution. Um, didn't include a solution, but that is the solution. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Let us know how you did in the comments, and I will see you next time.